Um, uh, another podium uh, result coming into Lisboa. Yep. <laughs> Got to be happy with that. Yeah, we're certainly happy with it. Uh, you know, we're kind of, you know, fifth only a couple hundred miles out. Uh, it was nice to finish on the podium and beat two of the best teams in the race coming up the river here. Yeah, and obviously Abu Dhabi thought they could uh, nail you. Um, you know, a couple hundred miles out. Yeah, you know, Abu Dhabi uh, certainly has their speed strengths. Um, J1 reaching is one of them. Uh, you know, when we came into the river, we were less than a mile behind those guys, and we knew when we parked up that we just want to stay on the beach side of them, and that turned out to be the good side of the exchange. And uh, we were able to get a pretty good jump on them coming into the finish, and then just slide around Dong Feng and stay in front of them in a 20 tack tacking goal. Yeah, you made an early mistake in that 20 tack, and they made the last fatal one. Yeah, it was tough. I think we had three bad tacks, they had three bad tacks, um, but I think minimizing the damage was uh, the key. You know, I think tacking the mast head zero with uh, eight guys on a 65 foot boat after 10 days of crossing an ocean is, uh, is a pretty crazy thing. But, you know, it's how that leg was decided, and maybe how a couple of these other legs will be decided finishing in rivers like that. Yeah, um, are you going to get much sleep on these legs? Uh, probably not a lot of sleep on these legs, uh, just because they're so short and sharp. Yeah, if everybody gets three hours, they'll be lucky. <laughs> three hours for the whole leg? That'd be a problem. But uh, yeah, it'll definitely be less sleep than we've had in legs past for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, um, where are we up to with um, uh, results of protests? Uh, there's a jury hearing on Wednesday. Uh, we'll have a representative there, but you know, fortunately for us, uh, you know, we're not being protested, so uh, it's a little bit out of our hands. Um, yeah. You know, the three boats that are, you know, I'm sure have their cases and have done their due diligence. Uh, you know, there's precedent for some of these things in the past, so it will be new for the Volvo. So um, it's nice not to have to worry about, but it'll certainly affect our results. Yeah, yeah, obviously. And, uh, um, so looking back, um, you know, you've got the. A hell of a lot more uh, um, ocean racing experience now than you had when you started. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. And uh, what would you do differently in, in leg one and two, perhaps? Oh, uh, it's tough to say. I mean, uh, you know, speed is certainly king. Uh, that's for sure. And uh, you know, maybe some more detailed training in the outset. Uh, you know, to be honest, it's. You know, we had to really crawl before we could walk, you know, and we started this whole thing and now we've proved that we're quite competitive and, you know, during a, a, a lead up to maybe another race, we'd have been very, a lot more specific probably in our training, um, just continue to work on our boat speed and stuff like that. Yeah, um, it, I guess it's, it's just a matter of no, uh, um, nothing beats uh, time in the water. Yeah, time on the water is big. You know, we had to learn a lot of things, you know, initially when we got in the boat that other teams already knew. Um, so we had to start kind of on a gross gross tune and, uh, you know, fine tune it as our training went on. Whereas if we were able to do it again, we'd probably be able to start with some of the finer, finer yeah. details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and looking forward, these two legs, you, is it going to be uh, everybody on AIS? Uh, probably everybody on AIS for a big chunk of it, uh, that's for sure. Um, you know, I expect the racing to be, you know, to be extremely tight. Look at it after 10 days crossing the Atlantic. You know, we only got 700 miles up the coast, so uh, I envision it to be even more tighter if that's possible. Yeah, and more I'll, tight. Yeah, um, Will had done a lot of uh, homework on that uh, exclusion zone, hadn't he? Will always does a lot of homework. Uh, you know, we can. Uh, you can debate who the best navigator in the world is, but I certainly know that Will Oxley is the most prepared. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess uh, these legs, it'll matter a hell of a lot. Yeah, uh, you know, the, the amount of effort that he puts into every leg, you know, is just astounding. And um, it'll be nice to leave here with a pretty choreographed plan of how the leg will go. You know, there'll be some impromptu things, um, you know, to come about for sure. But with only 700 miles and forecasting being what it is, we should have a pretty good idea of what the you know, three and a half day jaunt will look like, you know, before casting off the dog. Yeah, yeah, the fine detail will, will really matter. Yeah. Yeah, sir. yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh my God. <laughs> the uh, the music is, is <laughs> uh, anyway good luck uh, on this uh, on this uh, leg and good luck for the rest of the race and I guess the import races uh, um, you've got a, a reasonably good track record there yeah uh, the import races are going to count they certainly are you know as the scores are uh, you know as close as they are for the offshore uh, bit but uh, you know it'd be nice to be on the podium a couple more times between here and the end of this thing so. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. It's not the sort of sound you can actually...